it's time for another amazing chemistry video with Mr. Stapleton. Grab this one, sit back, I'm doing a nice coffee. Hi guys, well this video is going to be a little bit different, just trying out uh, something a little bit different for you. Hopefully uh, it'll be good and clear for you. This is going to be all about uh, surfactants or cleaning agents. Um, and so when we're talking about surfactants or cleaning agents, are we referring to either soaps or detergents. Uh, now they have a general structure, which we'll see here appear shortly. And um, you can see that um, the structure has both a polar head group and a non-polar tail, okay? Now the polar head group is water loving, okay? So it's normally uh, in a soap, it's a carboxylic acid. In a detergent, it's a um, sulfonate group. Both of those have the um, common uh, uh, property though of that they're polar okay so that um, head group which is polar can bond to water via iron dipole interactions now the tail uh, the tail is mostly made up of hydrocarbons so soaps are normally made from fatty acids which are between 12 to 17 carbon atoms long and uh, though that non-polar tail um, because it's hydrocarbons uh, it's all non-polar and so that's water hating it doesn't form any sort of bonds with water it'll want to want to bond to other um, organic things which are non-polar so uh, what you can see here is we've got um, a just a surface um, and the surface of uh, material is something like a plate or some clothes and um, depends on what you want to clean you can see we've got some uh, dirt particles which are attached to the surface there so these dirt particles um, are normally called lipids so that means fats oils are uh, things which are non-water soluble so if we just tried to remove these just simply by washing with water they wouldn't disappear okay now what we do instead is we use a surfactant to help get rid of them now the surfactants are uh, work through a four-step process so the first step or the first process is the penetration so as you can see the uh, soap particles come down the cleaning particles come down and they bond to the dirt or the lipids uh, now they do that via dispersion bonds the non-polar tail attaches itself via um, secondary dispersion bonds to the non-polar lipid um, now if all we did was grabbed a, a plate and we put it into the dishwashing water and um, then we took it out we wouldn't remove all the fat the grease the oil on there so the next step is an agitation so when we agitate the soap particles um, and the dirt particles pull away from the surface of the um, plate or the clothing that we're wanting and now they're in solution now because you've got non-polar tails in solution right with a polar head group on the outside those non-polar tails they don't want to bond with the water around them all right they're non-polar they're very much repelled by the polar water molecules so what they will do is they'll start to move and clump together as you can see here okay so all the non-polar um, components come together in the middle and the polar head groups are around the outside okay now what that means is you end up with all these different micelles inside um, the solution so that's the third step the micelle formation the first step was the penetration the second step was the agitation where we broke them away and this third step is where we get all these different micelles which are being formed uh, in the solution now the really good thing about these micelles is that because they've got the negative polar groups on the outside they repel each other okay so you can see the micelles that are here all right they're not wanting to get close to each other because you've got the negative charge on them so this is the fourth step this is called deflocculation deflocculation is what um, where we prevent the particles coming together or flocking together so when we deflocculate them we keep them suspended in water now this is really important because if you didn't deflocculate the particles they would clump together as um, a big dirt or oil particles okay and um, what you would end up with is a massive mess on your clothes on your plate and you don't want that so we keep them suspended so that when we do a final rinse you can see the water coming down here when the water comes down the polar head groups are attracted to the polar water molecule and they get rinsed away and we're left with a clean um, either clothes, piece of clothing or clean plate so hopefully this has been a uh, reasonably quick and um, easy demonstration for you on the four ways that um, cleaning agents work. So they penetrate the um, dirt particles, you agitate it to remove them from the surface, and you've done that either by scrubbing your plate or by your washing machine um, spinning around. Uh, you then get the micelle formation where you get those um, non-polar tails which are all clumped in together with the polar head groups around the outside and then finally you end up with the deflocculation where they all repel each other okay so hopefully that's been pretty straightforward if you've got any questions just ask thanks guys